we've got an exciting opportunity here in Manchester today where we've brought together two schools at Loughborough University, engineering and sport, to explore the aerodynamics of wheelchair racing. The purpose of this entire facility is to present a nice, smooth, clean airflow into this very small, narrow region where we have the chair. It means is if we change the position of Mel in the chair or if we change equipment on or around the chair, then we can isolate the effect of those changes using the sort of force balance measurement that we have underneath the wind tunnel. So we can know with certainty that those small changes we've made are the things that have changed the aerodynamics rather than any uncertainties in the, in the airflow. And what we're hoping to get is some data from the wind tunnel that I can then use to validate my simulations which I've been performing in Loughborough. What we're doing at Loughborough is quite different in that we have a one-third sized model and they hold the three positions of catch, release and recovery. The difference here is that by having that static 3D printed model it allows us to take long time measurements that just wouldn't be practical to do with a real athlete uh, in the full size tunnel. It's an exciting platform following Paris uh, 2024 where we really want to have an impact for LA and so through this collaboration and this work hopefully we will elevate the knowledge and translate it to meaningful performance by working very closely with the athletes. It's all those collaborations, not just us, the scientists, not just the facility, but also the athletes at the heart of what we do as well. The general trends that I'm finding in my simulations are the same that we've been getting from the wind tunnel data, which is a very good sign that they, they will be able to then develop those further and really use them to look into what else we can change. Hopefully we should be able to get some numbers to be able to tell them if you change your position by this or you use this different equipment, you will then make these gains aerodynamically which then can then be converted to a time saving over a certain distance in a race, which could be the difference between a podium place and not a podium place. <laughs>